welcome back to another episode of Exploring Whiskies. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. Today we're going to be heading back over to Scotland and we've got like a special treat. So <laughs> this is a classic malts collection and we're going to, not all three today, but we're going to go through them over the next handful of episodes. And these are all owned by Diageo, mm -hmm. which also owns Johnny Walker. These are all whiskeys that at some point go into one of the Johnny Walker lines. Okay. So that's what we're doing. But we're going to start with the 10-year, the young, the, the baby, the baby of the group. This is the Talisker. So this is a 10-year single malt scotch from the Isle of Skye. Okay. So, all right, so everybody <laughs> think of your regions. Uh, I don't know how many people know the, the Scottish map, but you know, so you have the space sides here, and you got the highlands, and you got the lowlands, and then like down here is where Isla is. Sky's like up here. So okay. there's a whole group of little islands off like the northwest of Scotland. There's, yeah, there, and there's distilleries all over them. Tosker. I'm already imagining what the taste is going to be like. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to get a little seawater. It's just, I mean, it's where they are. This uh, is not one of those old distilleries, though. 1825. Been around for a little while. Been around for a little while. Did have a little mishap. They've had a couple bad things happen to them, but uh, they're still kicking. Yeah, they, uh, early 60s, they had a little yeah. fire. Yeah, they're, they're a distillery house. No, they're, yeah. Mm -hmm. The still caught. Their the still stills fire. actually the caught on fire. fire. <laughs> so I have to assume that didn't go well. No, imagine that went up pretty quick. And when, but <laughs> they rebuilt it. Exact replicas. Oh. So they rebuilt it to the exact oh, same wow. specs as the originals were. So. Oh yeah, Brian and Pete. Brian and Pete. Yep. Ooh, super medicinal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is iodine and band aids. Yep. It's not all right, Brian and Pete, but it's not smoky, smoky, smoky. It's no, not an island. No, it's not, but it's it's there. It's there. Oh, that's so band aids and iodine. <laughs> I'm in, I'm interested though, because most of the scotches are eighty. Right. This one is ninety one point six. Yeah. And I think and I think a lot of scotches would be better. If they were proofed a little higher. If they higher. were proofed a little higher. So I'm, I'm, I've am i never had this. No, um, me either. I'm excited to see how, I, how the what the proof, how it. An actual proof over 90, how yep. that comes through when you have to deal with the brine and the peat and and things like that. Totally agree. But off the nose, uh, that's the first thing I'm going to say. I don't Ooh. feel like I'm getting a massive amount of proof off nose. The I was expecting it to be just hit you no no you get that peat that smoky but it's smooth oh that's really nice and you don't feel the proof either given that it's a, not at all it's not even there it's almost like it's just that the um, regular scotch at, at 80 yeah there's so many sweet notes hidden underneath mm -hmm. that that's really nice that is this is a perfect transition whiskey. If you have someone that's cool with scotches, like those Highland Space Side mm -hmm. scotches, and they want to start transitioning into those Islas, yeah, this is a great trick because the, all the sweet notes linger. The finish is all super sweet, but you do get a little bit of that brine, iodine, medicinal type up fronts. But the finish is, wow, that is really nice. And at what? 90. 91.6. 91.6. That's. Even chewing on it, it stays the same. That's silly. The proof, if, if you chew on it kind of air you get a little bit more of the proof. Okay. But the taste stays the same. Totally stretching out a limb here. But in the Johnny Walker Black, there's that little bit of the smoke at the very end. Mm -hmm. Really reminiscent. Mm-hmm. Right. Gonna take a wild guess. This might be one of the <laughs> one of the primary whiskeys in the Tony Walker Black. But oh, so many sweet notes coming off. Of I that think too. the nose. If you're to line them up, I think the nose would probably scare some people away. 
I would agree. But if he didn't nose it, he just immediately took a sip. Oh. Yeah, very solid. Very, very good. sweet. There's a lot of different notes, but there is that little um, ambisol note to it. Yeah, it has a medicinal. There's a medicinal in there. Even the aftertaste. But at a some sweet point, medicine. It, it, it kind of picks back up that yeah. medicinal taste. But man, I think the going from the nose to the taste, wow. Yeah. I'm a fan. I, I, I'm so, <laughs> these little gift, I love these things. I love being able to sample, I mean, the, the Johnny Walker line, being able to do four mm-hmm. was amazing. The, I don't even, I, I don't recall exactly what this price, the price of this particular thing was. Um, I do know if you just want to buy a 750 milliliter of Talisker, you're, you're probably talking 70 ish mm-hmm. bucks. Is it a readily available or is it you got to kind of hunt? I, I know the name, but don't I don't know the answer to that. I want to say I enjoy scotches and you, I do peruse. Yeah, this section, I was going to say but, if you go to the right place, I think it's there. So, some place that has a little bit better scotch selection. So, for around our area, in Cool Springs has that little cave. Mm-hmm. I do believe I've seen Talisker there. Okay. Laverne has a pretty solid mm-hmm. section uh, of shelving for scotches. I do think I've seen it there. I can't say I've seen it many other places. Okay. So, some place that does have a scotch lean, they would have this. This is something that I think a lot of them would have. So, a little sneak peek. What's next out of this oh, box? Well... All right, so Kleinlish is a 14 euro. We're gonna do that one last. We're gonna go by ages. So there's a 10, a 12, and a 14 in this little run. And then it's, I wanna say it's Coal Isla. Okay. Maybe pronouncing that incorrectly, <laughs> but uh, that's another one. That's an Isla. That's an actual Isla uh, scotch. So I know we're gonna get a pretty smoky note off of that. All right, back to Talisker. So Talisker, let's see. 1823? Five? 25. 25. 1825. Been around a long time. Um, they were, for a long time, the only operating distillery, distillery on the Isle of Skye. Uh, and then in 2017, yep. there was, and I, I'm not even going to attempt to say the name of the distillery <laughs> that, that jumped onto the island, but there is another distillery there. Um, which makes me really interested to try that now. <laughs> Again, um, we, we got to make that road trip. Oh, dude, I, I really want to go to Scotland. I, I can't wait for all the... That's like one of those you kind of... Like, maybe like two weeks. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's maybe a... the golf clubs too. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, the distilleries don't open until... <laughs> I mean, you, you golf it at, at, you know, as soon as the sun comes up. Mm-hmm. Golf. You, you get a sample for around lunchtime, you, you take a nap, mm-hmm. and then you get a sample <laughs> for dinner time. I, I totally think this is a great trip. Yep, I'm in. One of the interesting parts, they did shut down for Talisker, they shut down the malting floor. Mm-hmm. I think, and I wonder if that's what drives that sweeter note. So they get their malt from the Highlands. Okay which does tend to have a little bit more of a sweeter mm-hmm. honey note to it. I mean, Glenmorangie is a Highland Scotch, and there's a lot of Highland Scotches that they just have a little bit sweeter note. So I wonder if that's part of what's playing in here. I think it's a great combination of, for a single malt Scotch, it tastes more like a blended Scotch yeah. in a weird way. Uh, I think this is delicious. It's, it's really amazing. Good. It's an amazing little bottle. Again, this is one of those you can't judge the book by the cover. You can't judge by the nose because once you get past the nose, it is. Yeah, but when you go back to the nose, you start to do you mm-hmm. do start to pick up a little bit more of the the fruit, the honey, the malt. Mm-hmm. But that medicinal thing still there. That whatever ambisol or uh, what chloroseptic spray. Yeah, it's there. It's, the, there. it's in the front. It's there on the end. Yeah, it's just it's not there. there in the middle. But it is a. It's a fun little bottle. Mm-hmm. It's got a lot of neat notes to it. And I, yeah, I, I see how that plays well blending for Johnny Walker. Yep. Like I could see that playing. You could, if you want to sweeten things up a little bit, if you want to get away, 
or if you want to add a little bit of smoke, you know, iodine medicinal thing to that, like you can kind of play, this could play two parts. Yep. Very good. So I'm excited. excited for you too. I am too. This is just the 10 year. We got a 12 and a 14. Uh, and from what I could see and from what I can see, the color, not color. Yeah. <laughs> There's not color added nope. to this one from what I could, from what I could, uh, what I could find. Well, I've enjoyed this one. I'm very excited for the other two. Yes. Yeah. That's a fun little thing. And now this is my, I want to find more little packs like this. Cause I have to think other scotches, oh, yeah. like other scotch lines have to do this. Or... Well, it's perfect though. Especially if you're kind of dipping your toe in the water. Yeah. Get you a little bit of go, everything. You don't want to go buy the big one. No. Just get one of these. Yeah. This or is the perfect. Pack. 200, 200 milliliters. Perfect. I think it's perfect. You can get a solid. Neat, probably eight, eight neat pours of mm -hmm. about an ounce, something yep. like that. I, I can't convert milliliters to ounces. Sorry, <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't have that math in my brain. But uh, yeah, you could probably get about eight, eight solid pours out of that, yep. and I, I think that's that's just perfect. Never had it before. That was delicious. Yeah, Looking absolutely. Looking the other two. Yes. But hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, we encourage you to swipe that like button at the bottom of the screen. While you're down there, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you get notified, and hey, leave us a comment. One, uh, have you had the other whiskey from the Isle of Skye? Not going to attempt the name. It's, it's, it's a very Scottish name, and <laughs> I, I just, I didn't, I don't know how to say it. Uh, or have you had any of the other ones from Diageo, or any of the, anything anything related to this they all lead into Johnny Walker and I just I think that's really kind of an interesting thing to see that the black label is 42 different whiskeys right and but the blue label no the 18 year is only up to 18 whiskeys I don't know which ones I know Cardu Cardu is another one I, I gotta find Cardu because that that is one that's part of the 18 I know that but Leave us a comment. What do you think of scotches overall? A little bit more smoky iodine, but still sweet. I, I, if you're want to tip, your, if you want to tip your toe into a little bit more of that Isla note, this is a great thing. Yep. I completely agree. So, till the next episode. Thanks, Thanks for, for joining. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.